One more word and I'll have you arrested. For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. Uh, you can wait outside for your uh, notice. Will you be sending men with guns after me if I don't show up to your uh, trial? One more word and I'll have you arrested. Why is Ian Freeman so easy to make videos about? Well, I guess partly it's because there's a lot of video of him. Uh, whether you like what he's doing in the videos or not. Well, I'm uh, going to pay this property tax bill. Mastermind goes behind that. I said I really don't know. If you're going to count it, I'd prefer you do it in front of me. As you count that money, please consider what's uh, going to be done with it. In case you aren't aware, I'd like to give you a few examples. Next week, video journalist Dave Ridley will be imprisoned by your organization. He never harmed anyone. My friend Sam, who's holding the camera here, spent 58 days in prison for doing exactly what he's doing right now, just one floor up. Maybe it's because he's one of those people who doesn't get angry at you when you criticize him. And... Hey, Ed. How are you? How are you? Still waiting on that lunch. I gotta get your other business taken care of first, Ian. All right. Take care of my... Maybe it's because he makes so many mistakes to criticize. Here's one I warned him about. Someone finally sort of called him on it. Uh, there was a... a well, let me go back to the beginning. I had uh, made the suggestion that uh, Ian's professed opposition to coercion is poorly worded. I don't think he or most of us libertarians or freedom lovers or whatever we call ourselves, we're not really against coercion. We are against acts of aggression or the maybe the initiation of coercion. I keep suggesting that he use this wording, but he, you know, see, I haven't noticed him change that much. He seems like he still says coercion. And this caught up to him, uh, you know, in, in for one for one way or another, in a New York Times article uh, that was written about him. Uh, of course, <laughs> the fact that a New York Times article was written about him means he's doing quite a bit better than me, even, uh, as an activist. But um, he still gave them a, a, a sort of... A, he gave them an opening to criticize him. And the, the article, again, I think this was the New York Times, it says, quote, Mr. Freeman, 33, has been repeatedly arrested and once served 58 days in jail for disorderly conduct after standing in front of a police car to protect a woman, uh, to protest a woman's arrest because she had an open can of beer. He is guided, he says, by his voluntarist belief that all human action, uh, all human interaction should be consensual. Which might surprise the human parking officers who do not consent to being followed or videotaped. Unquote. So, okay, actually the word, the word coercion does not appear in this quote, but it's, it's a different quote of, it's a different idea of his that is open to attack. Well, it's actually the same idea, differently worded. All human interaction should be consensual. This word consensual keeps coming up. And really, again, freedom lovers are not necessarily opposed to violating someone's consent. They're, they're opposed to initiating that. LRN.FM 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat.lrn.fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to lrn.fm. Feds don't want you to hear them.